Alright, welcome back to the channel. Back in Urge. I collect some piss here and dump it in my pissed containment tent. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to two of these. I'm gonna head out today. I'm gonna head over towards I'm gonna head to the west, I should say, since I can't point at it with my cursor. But I'm the red dot, and to the west of me is an airstrip. That's where I'm gonna go today. See what I can find there. There may not be any bathrooms in that area. So I'm going to take a couple bottles with me, in case I need to piss. Did some good progress on the last episode. We found a, a building kind of built into a pass in a canyon that led to an area that I don't think I've ever seen before. So I will check that out soon. I was also able to craft some arrows for the crossbow and I used those successfully to kill some junkies. I also made a couple of platforms, one on either side of the base by the uh, entrances. The platforms I made are for standing on and looking outside of the base, so kind of a fighting position. Alright, I'm going to follow this. I was going to go down in there and get those trash bags, but I'll hold off. Maybe on the way back I'll do that. I believe this is going to lead me over towards that airfield. Is this the building on the hill? This looks different. I guess it is. It looks... Maybe it's just from a weird angle. I'm not going to lie. Like For me, it's very easy to get turned around on this game. need to be able to build a compass. That would be good. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right direction. It says you can see we have a bigger airliner plane that landed on this highway here. I'm going to check that out first. Save your time, all the joy is gone. I'm not going to take that one because 
the yellow fog level of the world is still a little high. Alright, first we're going to hit this warehouse. Remember, there's something like underneath the semi trailer. There's like a hole in the ground that you can go into, and there's like a dead body in there. Break down those pallets in a minute. I wish you could make a backpack or something to hold more shit. Man, there's a ton of shit in here. dare try to break this shit down or open it. Most of it I'll probably be able to take. bottle out just so I can take the cloth. Alright, I gotta keep moving. I gotta head back. I'm not even gonna be able to go to the airfield. My inventory is already full. Back to the drainage ditch, and I'll follow that all the way to Gull Road. So I need to try to figure out how to piss in a bottle. Okay, I figured it out. If you're wondering, it is right click. That's the same button that you use to dump out piss in the uh, in the fog collecting tent. battery recharge the flashlight 
And did I only drop wood? I guess so. I think there's another trash bag down here. Freeze up a spot and it heals me. Okay, back in Belarus. So, yeah, that drainage is a good way to navigate over there to the airfield. I don't know if the drain, yeah, the drainage is on the map. If you can see from where I'm at, the red dot directly west of that, you can see the drainage is a uh, kind of a tan colored line running down to the highway, which is where the plane was. What the hell just happened? Cloth. That's what happened. Oh man, I should take that acid. I'm coming back for that. Acid's important, I think. I'm not exactly sure what for, but I've seen a few recipes that require it. One of the things that did was the tent that I tried to build over the geyser and I could have built a, like I had to do it in two halves but I could have built a bigger tent that would have covered the whole thing if I had acid but I didn't. Alright, the shovel, you can dig up some stuff with this, just hit a part of the terrain that looks like dirt, e.g. dirt road or dry lake. Okay, perfect. So that is how I get soil. Let's try it. Wood? Soil? Okay, there's soil. Urid. Your urid. Holy shit. Well, this is how you get urid right here. Screw the urid collecting tent. <laughs> Bone. Digging up all kinds of good shit. Mealworm. Christmas out here. As you can see, this is one of my precisely engineered platforms. It's a defensive platform. This is the other one. gonna keep pouring piss into there and maybe eventually I'll be able to like do something with the solidified urine. Alright so let's look at our build options here. Still can't make a clock. I want to make a clock so I can figure out when the geyser eruptions are gonna happen composter fill it up by throwing in some organic stuff and urinating and then what happens wood plywood and glue bar I could make a composter so I should do that I'm just gonna try to make as much as I can right now okay Let's build a composter Did that just flip over? I think that just flipped over. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah. We want it. We want it like this. There. 
There's my composter. Stop it. Stop pissing all over the place, dude. Piss in the toilet. Oh, fuck off. Jesus, man, that was loud. So I need organic waste, so I have some rotted meat. Yeah, there's some. See, you just let a bunch of frickin' ear fog up. Dumbass, you're going around pissing in everything you see. I need to collect some more gear it out of here, dump it in my gear tent. There we go. All right, so I built a composter. Where's our, our fog level is very low still. There's a year light somewhere. We don't need a target. A rain collector. Can we use to collect rain, including gear lid rain? I should probably make that, even though I haven't seen where I need water yet. You're a purifier. Use a pipe build or a container to fill it. Must be completely full to start purifying. Consider building a housing tent above to prevent the spread of ear dust. Here's a ear light. Okay, so a wood, plastic bottle, battery, and ear. So I can build that. I should build I should build like a few of those. Okay. Alright, perfect. It's a urid light. I'll put one up here on the base, right there. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna put one out on each side here. Actually, I'll put one there, and I think I'm gonna put the other one over by the pisser here. There. <laughs> they look like fucking missiles. Alright. We'll see how that does for lighting up the area. Alright, I'm gonna go cut down some trees. I wanna make that cooking grill. I think that will probably be a lot easier to cook food on. I think it'll be more reliable, hopefully. Because I seem to always miss the spot where I'm supposed to put the bug meat when I try to cook it. But I need a lot of charcoal, or coal, to do that. And the only place that I've seen to get coal so far, like reliably, is after a campfire burns out. So I need to build like a tent above that. So it collects the fog. Yeah, I made a few fires. So I'm gonna try to cook some food. See how much coal I have. One. Need a lot to make that. Five. 
Okay, yeah. I have to have a lot of fires before I can have enough coal. There's probably a better way to get it, I don't know. I could try digging, I guess, some more. I might get coal if I dig. There it is. Let's see if I have any more bugs. Yep, here's a couple. Three. Bug me. I think you might only be able to cook one bug meat at a time. I tried doing multiples and it seemed like it worked once, but other times it seemed like it didn't work. That one cooked really fast. That might have already been partially cooked though. In the other fire. So they may cook, if you put multiples on the fire, it may cook in order. Instead of like cooking them at the same time. I'm just going to let that fire burn because I need coal. I wonder how long this is good for. We'll keep an eye on it. See, I don't think that one's sitting on it, right? There. That was perfect throw. There's a coal. I'll just light that fire, just for the hell of it. Yeah, I don't think that's working. Timing bug. Oh, nice fucking throw, dude. Weak. Why is this one still going? Okay, I'm going to retry building this uh, metal reinforcement on the wall. Metal sheet.
Okay, I can go this far. Okay, there we go. That was the problem. I didn't rotate it before. There, perfect. Might as well put it all the way to here. Oh. We don't want it to look too heinous. I'm gonna go cook this bug. I got bug meat all over the place here. It's not cooking. This fire is the never ending fire. Okay, there, I got some metal reinforcement on these walls. I wonder if I can metal reinforce a door. God damn it. <laughs> no. I can't. Wait. Oh shit. Alright, well that didn't work. I should have expected that. You can actually build metal doors. I should have known better. be able to go in from the other side now. What's going on over here? What did I just get? I got another damn bug meat. So the bug meat's... Oh, that one cooked. Blocked off for now. God damn it. I need to re rotate it again. There we go. It's not the door, right? Where's the door? This is the door. Better make sure. Yep. All right, well, I got most of the way around the base. I got like two thirds of the way. I accidentally blocked off one of my entrances. I don't know if I can cut that out. There's some more cooked bug meat. Leave these fires going. Alright, so there's the light. I mean, it's not doing a ton, but it's doing enough to see. Not bad. I'd like to put a couple outside also at some point. Ah, uh, I was pushing the wrong button. That's why I couldn't run the flashlight the other night. 
I'm an idiot. Yeah, I was using the uh, F button for flashlight. <laughs> X. Alright. That was my bad. It wasn't the game. Do I hear a beetle? I think I hear a beetle. Oh, fire just went out. Alright, I'll take that coal. Sounds like we got a beetle out here. Trying to lead me away into a trap. I'm not falling for it. Alright, so flashlight off. The ear lights are looking pretty good. I don't hear the beetle. So I'm gonna go to sleep. We survived the night, made some good progress, reinforced the walls a little bit, did a little bit of scavenging, working towards getting all the resources to be able to build a cooking grill. Gotta take out this beetle. And I seem to be controlling the ear fog pretty well. Alright, he's dead. That's where I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.